Going tubers Abdur sound back here with Galaxy S3 from AndroidTechBlockSpot.com. Right now, I'll be doing a review of Paranoid Android ROM. So let's go ahead and get to it. This is the screen you will be at once you've done flashing. If you don't know how to flash, click in description. You will see a video which I did on how to flash. So scroll through it if you want to log into a gmail it will start installing your roms and as you know i have older version so there is already update and if you have that it will give you an update let's go ahead and go to system setting and as you can see one of the features already of paranoid and ROM. right there you can see Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. So you can see it better. And here you go. Okay, so one of the features of Paranor and ROM is the tablet mod. And that's why you're seeing the dual panel view right here. This is your typical launcher. And it's based off Cyanogerma 10 hybrid. So you'll see all the features that's in Cyanogerma 10 over here. They have done some simple or changes like putting a go manager instead of raw manager and this is just the, for apps guys uh, it's not simple to make tablet mod working on your phone that's how it looks pull down menu those are the four options it get, gives you and let's go back to setting again and here you have option for your launcher home screen all this stuff you had on your Sanajan mod let me see if this helps My bad guys, I don't know why I'm doing this right now, but I feel like it will help, but it doesn't. So, all the features of Sana Jamar right now, horizontal, padding, resize any widgets you like, higher icon levels, and those features, app drawer features, and general, if you want auto rotation. Then your lock screen screen security background clock alignment battery status owner's information weather calendar and slides uh, slides sal, slider shortcut sorry uh, here you can see all the security options background choose which one you like clock alignment center battery stat you can have it post weather and calendar so you can have your upcoming event posted on your lock screen then themes you might want to download for Sana Juma 9 or 10 those things will work system here you have status bar just like how it used to be in Sano General 10 battery I always like with percentages less option by the way and their own setting this is the reason why it's they call it Paranard Andrew Raw not Sano General 10 workspace
see this that's hybrid of stack UI phone tablet UI tablet UI tablet and tablet big so we are going to go ahead and tablet allow okay reboot is required phone will reboot so this basically turns on your phone like you know Samsung made Galaxy Note and some people feel like it's considered a tablet other people's like me they consider it as just a big phone and ROMs like this and developers like this satisfies both of the people because you can have that feature of tablet when you flash the ROM on your big screen and you can have another feature and as you can see that's your tablet that's really good makes it small notification bar by the way this is your typical jelly bean lock screen gives you three options you got Google now working Lakers Chris Paul so you can suck Kobe Bryant you know what I meant and these are the applications I already sold you let go back to setting where we were system setting panel and rear setting and here are the different options tablet UI small I'm gonna reboot again to show you those two others you can try it out because that's just gonna be mainly dependent on this I think Panner Ender was the first ROM to get tablet UI on Galaxy Nexus and now they cover a lot of different devices Ender community is growing faster and faster as the OKP I remember when White Hawks and Roman BB had a T99 aka T-Mobile Galaxy S2 and they were just regular uh, Somali custom ROM they use and as soon as they moved to Galaxy Nexus they were a big hit with AOKP they are the one who developed it and as you can see this is your small fab tablet that's what I mean by having this kind of ROM that satisfies both of you both of the users and and now user interface now here you can select different options system apps you can select to her tablet tablet or phone mod user apps same thing score and select system app tablet mod apply <laughs> everything needs a reboot guys so my bad I'm gonna have to keep rebooting the phone But this will eventually pay off because you're watching the videos and by the time you download the ROM you will know exactly what you want to do with your phone and it will be easier for you to set up and that is the reason why I make all these videos for you guys. So let's go ahead and back to setting. As you can see it got messed up that's what it does that's the fabric mode so now for us because we are not that big enough panel under phone more apply okay yes this is my last reboot I guess and they have there some of the apps which is especially like Gmail and YouTube 
those apps with uh, tablet mode on it like they took gmail out of the tablet or whatever if you get a samsung tempo one tablet and if you see how gmail looks in there that's how it's gonna look here because they made it similar so now we are back to normal back to the another setting and as I said the applications these are the applications and you can choose what you want to have like in torch the DPA density per inch you can choose individual applications and you can choose the DPIs so let's say I choose the torch again let me show you torch how it looks before we do anything close this is how torch looks right the simple apps gonna go back there delete that and gonna make 253 apply okay now let's go back to torch you see it kinda got smaller or it did it not so it will get smaller and you can set the density per DPI inch the way you like if you want to have one Gmail app in your panel you can do that backup and reset you can backup preference and stuff and it will reset and here is your help desk and everything else is just sign at mod as you can see the profiles and all that this was a full review of paranoid android rom for AT&T Galaxy S3 and all other Galaxy S3 variants please go ahead and go check out my web blog at androtechblogspot.com subscribe after 7 and I'll see you in my next video